So to add 3D text to a SketchUp project, what I recommend doing is zoom into the zone that you want to go. For example, the coconut forest. I'm going to zoom in here. All right, now I'm going to go up to Tools, 3D Text. And I'm going to enter my text here. So coconut forest. And you can go under fonts and change things, maybe change the height. And um, the height of the text is going to be how big the text is. So uh, for height, I might do 300 feet. So 300 with the little apostrophe. Okay, um, for how much it's extruded, that's going to be the thickness of your lettering. And I recommend doing something pretty thick. So I might do 150 feet, like so. And then hit the place button. So now it should follow along with where my cursor is. And I wait until it's oriented the way I want it and then click it into place. Now if I zoom out, you can kind of see how big it is. I think that's an appropriate size. If you wanted to change the size of it, you could go to the scale tool and drag out one of the corners and do something like that. Um, like so. If it ends up being too small, I would recommend just doing the 3D text again and make sure to enter um, those bigger values. Otherwise, it's not going to come out right. So now I already have wild chickens in place. I have the fresh water located. I have the washed up plane over here. Um, let's label the fishing hole. So I'm going to go over here, zoom into my fishing hole, go up to tools, 3D text and label it fishing hole. Um, again, I'm going to make sure that my font is something big like 300 feet. Maybe we'll even go with 400 feet. 400 feet. And I'm going to extrude it pretty thick because one inch is way too skinny. It's not even going to look like it's thick at all. So I might go 200 feet just for fun. Click place. And then as I move around, it should show me what it would look like if I click it down which it always appears to want to be upside down. So to change that, I can go to this rotate tool. Um, you don't even have to click on it per se, but click the blue. You're going to want the blue um, orientation. Click once. Go out a little further to give it a radius and click it again. And then move it around until you're happy with how it's oriented. I might do it like that. And then I'm going to use the move tool to maybe drag it over here a little better. So now fishing hole is labeled. Um, we also would have cliffs and caves labeled over here. You could label the um, latitude and longitude somewhere. You could also locate where you would uh, plan to put your shelter. So let's say you were going to put your shelter in here. I would zoom in just like I did before, um, do a 3D text. You could call it my shelter or whatever you want. I'm going to make this 200 feet tall. Font is 400 feet tall and click place. And where is it? Whoop! Pinwheel of death. All right, here we go. That's pretty good. And click it into place. So after you have everything labeled, you want to make a video tour with at least 10 scenes kind of showing you around the island. Um, so just as an example, let, let me pause this a second and add some more labels and then I'll show you how to do that part. So I added a few more labels and now I'm going to start making my scenes. So to make my scenes, I might zoom out to a view of the island itself as a starting point and go to view, animation, add scene and then zoom into some other part, like maybe where we started, which is where the washed up plane is. And go to view, animation, add scene again. Then I might zoom out a little bit maybe to here and go to view, animation, add scene again. Maybe zoom over to the wild chickens. View, animation, add scene. Maybe zoom out like so, view, animation, add scene, 
zoom into the coconut forest, view animation, add scene. <clears throat> Maybe back here, over to where your shelter is going to be. View animation, add scene again. Maybe go down this way, show the fishing hole, view animation, add scene. Um, maybe now zoom in over by the fresh water, view animation, add scene. And now let's give a tour of this, view animation, add scene over here and maybe let's rotate our view a bit to where the cliffs and caves are view animation add scene you should have at least 10 scenes total and then think about how you want it to end up what do you want your closing screen to look like uh, maybe like this view animation Scene. So I have 12 scenes here. Uh, once you have all of your scenes, you can go back to scene one and then click through to see what the video is going to end up looking like to make sure that you're happy with it. Show off your island. And then once you're happy, you're going to go to File, Export, Animation. Give yourself a title, put it on your desktop, and press Export. And that exporting process could take, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll probably save the exporting until the beginning of the next class and then add it to Canvas after that.